fellow people of the internet, and today we're here for another Kayla Cooks. This is ironic because this is my favorite vegetable. I just picked it up. Why is that ironic? Coincidental. We'll call it. <laughs> How about that? So I know we haven't had a Kayla Cooks in a very long time, and it's actually the first one in this. No, I don't think it's the first one in this kitchen. You can tell me. So today we are making a pesto pasta, and we got the recipe from Bosch TV. Follow their Instagram. They're amazing for vegan recipes, really yummy. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients. So we have our basil here, got some soaking cashews, some pine nuts, little baby pinch of salt, some lemon juice, some nutritional yeast, and some non-dairy milk. And this is for the sauce. We are also gonna add some mushrooms. I don't know if we're using tomatoes or not, so we might, we might not, we'll let you know. And then we have this for flavor to saute and a knife. So the recipe calls for the onion, not the garlic or the mushrooms, but I like to get a little spicy. It also calls for two lemon, the juice of two lemons, but I don't really like when I can taste lemon in my food, so we're only using one. And when I said spicy, I didn't mean like this is spicy, but we just wanted to be spicy, you know what I'm saying? Spice it up a little bit. So let's get started. What happened? <laughs> I dropped some cashews. That tipped over and they went all over the floor. Okay. Should go in first. Hi. <laughs> first we're gonna add the one cup of soaked cashews. And then I think next we'll go with the juice of one lemon. I think we'll do the pinch of salt next. Perhaps the nutritional yeast. Plant-based milk. We have almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and the pine nuts. And I just went deaf in my left ear. Don't get it on camera. How, are you okay? I couldn't hear, and then I had ringing. <laughs> How is it now? It's getting better, there's less ringing, but still kinda. Anywho, and lastly-ish, the pine nuts. So now we're gonna blitz it on up. And please don't mind our dirty ninja. <laughs> Try to see if they could afford more lemon. I feel like I don't want to mess it up. What do you think, cameraman? I think it tastes good. I'm her assistant Love on the other side today. She, actually, I want to congratulate Tess here. If you'd just like to step in real quick. I know, I know you're not dressed. Just come on, you deserve it, Tess. Come on. She graduated chef school, everyone. <laughs> Congratulate her. You did a great job. Hey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Where you go? Get more water. Very creamy and delicious. And now we add the basil. What was that? A cashew. <laughs> I think we're gonna add a little bit at a time first, just to get the taste in there. This Tess uh, did not tell me that it was a pesto. Kayla doesn't like pesto. <laughs> That's not true. I'm just not a huge fan. And there you have it, folks. I get me free, Just so emotional. Are you okay, no. Chef? Onions make you sad. Yeah. So 
So we're making this to have some greens on the side. I'm not sure if I ever have broccoli. TV. Welcome to our messy pantry. Are you really hungry? Yeah. Mm hmm. He tells you a story and makes you want to dance. Steve Fox examines so, an overnight phenomenon. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. to the beat. What you doing in there? I'm putting the broccoli on the stove. Tip. You can use the same pan that you cook the onions and mushrooms in to save yourself some dishes. They're all about saving ourselves some dishes. Mm, I guess it was pretty. Hear that? It's the sound of broccoli. I give the rest a test. Thanks. It's delicious. You want to come? Yum. But it turned out pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of pesto-y stuff, but Tess loved it. So there's a plus. <laughs> to just trying it out. Also, don't forget, go over to Flaunt's website and grab our People of the Internet tea as they will no longer be available at the end of the month. And we will be launching a new mystery tea wow. in September. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.